In this segment, we use dictionaries to count words. Let's bring, in, bring up our shell. Here we see S is a quote from Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And what we'd like to do is count how many of each word, how many knots, how many woods, etc. We can use dictionaries for that. And let's, let's start with an empty dictionary. We'll call it our word count. And let's populate them. So what we'll do is for each word in S, after we split it into a list of words, Now we come, come to an idiom here, and if word is not in our dictionary, note that checks to see if, the key, if word is a key in our dictionary. So if it's not in there, let's put it in. And the key will be the word. And our count will be one, because we just found one word. Now, if it is in the dictionary, else, now it's in the dictionary. What we'll want to do this time is increment our count. So we go to, using the key, we go to that element of the dictionary and increment it plus equals one. So we're going to go through every word. If it's not in the dictionary, we put it in the dictionary with a count of one. Otherwise, we found it in the dictionary, we will increment its value. If we look at the dictionary, we see each word. For example, and was there once, do was there twice, them was there twice, like was there four times, etc. And we now, for each word, we have a count of how often it appeared in our string. Now, it might be nice to uh, arrange the, this output in an in uh, easier read fashion. For example, what if we wanted to uh, print our word counts from the most common words to the least common words? Well, we can't sort a dictionary, but as we saw last time, if I have a list, and in this case a list of tuples, we want to sort them on the values, so let's make our tuples with the value first. So with keys and values in word count, and since we're getting uh, keys and values, we need items. And that should give us a list of each count and its associated word. Now, the nice thing to do would be to sort it. And if we want to do them from most common to least common, then we have to do it in the reverse of the default order. Now I have a list. Uh, we have not appeared four times, like appeared four times, etc. So we're, we have a list from the most common words to the least common words. We could print that out uh, a little nicer. Walk through the list and print them. Let's use some, uh, let's print the word. Let's give it about 10 spaces put a colon in between them, and we'll put the count in there, which is an integer, and we have the word and uh, so this is actually so actually it's each element in there, so the word is the first item in each tuple, and count, oops, nope, the count is the second, and, I'm sorry, 
The word is the second and the count is the first. Getting a little tongue tied here. Let's try that. Now we have a list of words printed out a little nicer. We see four for not like an I. Uh, would them and do appear twice and all the other words appear once. Of course we uh, could have cleaned it up a little bit not having the punctuation in there. But a quick recap, we started with a, a string. We went through the string we, and we had a dictionary that was empty. We walked through the string split into words and if the word was not in our dictionary, then we added it to the dictionary with a value of one. Otherwise, that means it was in our dictionary so we incremented the count. And then if we wanted it in sorted order, we used list comprehension to build a list, having to use word, the uh, items iterator there. And once I had it in a list, I could sort it and I put it in reverse order. So there we go, using dictionaries to count the number of words in a string.